All right. Uh, so ignorance, ignorance, um, ignorance uh, means like uh, basically in this in, in this sentence it means uh, no caring, no caring, like zero caring. Bliss means uh, perfect happiness. Bliss. Usually uh, we use it. Um, it's like uh, you know, just like uh, we, for example, like uh, not, no, it's not about our religions. Like kind of a lot of people, they do meditation, for example, to uh, to be able to concentrate and focus better. So to have better concentration, to have better focus, they always, always do meditation. It's not related to religion. That's one kind of people. And if we do this, if we kind of uh, do some kind of a religion stuff, we can feel join like a joyful right it's kind of a feeling of happiness but uh it's not it's not like reality like it's not like it doesn't it doesn't feel connected to the uh the human beings it's only like uh, the people who are half in a piece this kind of a uh, idea so bliss has the idea of perfect happiness for example you have enough money you're rich you are wealthy. You have a nicer car. You have a nicer house. And you are. You are having a fantastic life. You're really happy. Well, you have a bliss, of course, right? Some kind of luck, and happiness. Usually happens in reality, right? The life that we have right now. So ignorance is bliss. Means no caring is good. If you don't care, well, it's bliss. It's good. Let me give you an example. You know, my mom and my dad, they always, always, always do it. When I just tell them, mom, don't eat this. Dad, don't eat this. But they say, no, it's good. You know, I want to eat this. But actually, if they eat this or something that I don't want them to eat, it's not good for their health. And they eat this. For example, too much ice cream. They eat too much ice cream. They eat it. And what happens, right? They cough. <coughs> they cough a lot and sometimes at night a lot and I hear it. And when that happens and they just like take some kind of medicines and they feel better. Sometimes, right, they eat like junk food and I don't see them. They just eat like behind me. Secretly, of course, they don't tell me. And they have a problem. And they eat more and more and more and more. And they have health problems because of that. And then I tell them, and of course, because of that, they have a lot of like uh, bigger health problems, huge, serious problems with health. And I tell them, mom, you have to go to the clinic. You got to go to the clinic. You must go to the clinic. You have to, sh you have to sh go and just see a doctor. And they just usually say, no, no, no. I don't want to go to the clinic, and I don't want to go to the hospital, and I don't want to see and just meet the doctor. Because if I do the medical checkup, or if I just see, go and see a doctor, they will tell that uh, even the problems that we, we, we think that. And sometimes, right, God, right they, they just tell the doctor just one problem about health, but actually they have a lot of problems, more than one, right? And they don't want to do it, right? And that's why ignorance is bliss. They say that. My mom and dad, they always say that ignorance is bliss. Why? No caring is bliss, right? If they ignore, it's good, right? If they know that they have a lot of problems with health, well, they don't like it, right? You understand? You understand? For example, like uh, maybe you are taking the exams, right? I don't know, maybe a lot of isms. And you just take it, you sit in the exam room and just take a test, or take the exam. And you don't want to know like uh, about how much you you can make, right? You could you can do. Sometimes ignorance is bliss, right? You don't want to know it. It feels good, right? If you know it, if you know that 
you make a mistake or you do something wrong, it feels bad, right? Sometimes in some situations, it's better not to know. It's better not to check. It's better not to tell. Sometimes just ignore. I, I now I'm just giving you the examples. It's two examples. I think you understand, right? Okay, now you gotta do something. You have to think of a situation. You have to think of a situation where you can use apply this idea. It can be positive. When I told you about my mom and dad, I just told you in a negative way, right? Because they don't want to go and see a doctor, and they don't want to do the medical checkup, right? If they do it, and they will know that they have a lot of problems with their health because they eat junk food, they eat bad stuff, right? The more they eat, right, more problems they have. So, more and more problems they have. So, um, you have to think. I will give you just you can take your time, and then today after work, afterwards, after we do this, and we will, I will teach something different today. All right. All right, guys. Think.